five, four, three, two, one. This is a nut and it's inedible. That's a smile. Granite in general. And with this, before I can get to my granite, it's inedible because the shell is around it. I'll have to crack it before I can get my nut. And with this nut, it's edible because the granite shell has been removed from it. And we apply force because without the force, it cannot come out by its own self. Therefore, when the granite is in the shell, it finds security, protection and comfort. But yet still, there is a shadow in it. The place is dark. And when the shell is on it, you can't eat it. Therefore, it has to break out and come out. This brings us to our topic today. That is, break out from your nut shell. Hi guys, my name is Adukwe Nkilova. Today we'll be talking about how to break out from your nut shell. I would like to use a biblical story of Moses. He had fears. He had inferiority complex. God had assigned him a major task, a major role in the lives of the Israelites. He told him, Moses, I want you to go and set my people free. Set my people free. Moses told God, God, I don't believe I can do this. I don't think I'm fit for this. I am a stammerer, giving God all sorts of excuses. But God knew who Moses was. He knew his destiny. He knew who he would be. And therefore, he told Moses that, you go out, be with me. And assigned Aaron to go with him. That's the same with our lives. Sometimes we feel safe in our shell. Feel that where we are is okay and we are not worth anything better. We think the worst of life and it feels like me being my natural, yes, it's far better. It's for me, it's better than just going out and being disgraced or failed. I would like to relate the breaking of the natural in relation to inferiority complex and fear. One of our major reasons is bullying, physical, emotional or mental abuse. When people say all sorts of things to you, when you are being abused physically, when you are being beaten brutally and you feel like, no, always I'm being beaten, I am useless, I am hopeless, I am not part of the rest, I am not like the others, all other people are better than me. And when mentally they are using bad words or strong words against you and you, you don't get any recommendation, all you get is so many bad things about you, it makes you feel that inferiority complex. My next point is constant reminder of your limitations and your weakness. When you are being reminded of your mistakes, what you did in the past, what you who you are not even sometimes they tell you you're a failure you are not worth it you are useless you can't go forward that's not your place you don't deserve that and this thing really sits into your mind and it keeps playing a flashback and you feel that yes it's truly who i am because people have said it no i am here to tell you that you are not a failure you are a child of god and in Jeremiah chapter 1, God told Jeremiah that before he formed him, he knew him. Before he was in his mother's womb, he knew him. He knew that Jeremiah would become a prophet. And therefore, I'm here to tell you that before God formed you, before you came into your mother's womb, God knew who you were. If God said he created us in his own image and likeness, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, then that means that you are not a failure if we are in the image and likeness of God. That's where 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25 says, For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than 
man's strength. The 27 tells us that, but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weaker things of the world to shame the strong. So in which category do you feel like you are in? Is it that you feel like you are not wise or you are not strong? No, I'm not part of these people. These people are wiser than me. These people are beautiful more than I am. And sometimes you, this usually happens when in examination you write, especially in our schools, and the results have been pasted. The results have been pasted on the notice board and everybody troops in, checking for their positions, for their marks, for their results. And you know that you didn't perform very well because you are not very good intellectually. And you feel like, no, I can't go and even look at my results or my position or the notice board because when I go, people will notice me. And so you go and people, you don't go and even later, people go and watch and they'll be like, yes, this is the 59th person out of the 60th. And you'll be like, you feel so down, you feel like I'm not part of these people. Another point is always comparing yourself to someone you think is better than you. It's not bad to feel inferior, but when it goes beyond that, the inferiority complex fails up. You comparing yourself to another person should be for a good reason for, your, for a positive purpose. But when it turns into a negative vibe that drains you and overshadows you and really leaves you powerless and like you feel it's you are not you are not worth it that's when it becomes very bad i'm here to tell you that you being your natural feeling so comfortable so protected but people can't eat the nut with the shell at the same time definitely you have to break out before the shell can be eaten and you can feel the taste and the delicacy to break out is to escape from an unpleasant personal situation that controls your life or someone who is trying to hold you. It's a fight. It's like you waging a war. So without you waging a war in your shell, you will still be there to get rotten. And people will not see your light. You will not see the light. And people will not see your value. Don't be discouraged about today for you don't know what tomorrow may bring. You don't know what tomorrow may bring. So don't ever be discouraged. Let's look at some of the side effects of the inferiority complex. If you are enjoying this video, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Some of the side effects of inferiority complex or fear is that Redrawal from society. These people become very timid and they feel afraid to associate with people. They feel they are not worthy of friendship and therefore they keep to themselves. Have you noticed some of your friends who are very timid and they would like to keep to themselves? Some also constantly keep blaming others. They find, they find um, peace or happiness in blaming others or it's a sense of um in sense of compensation for themselves because they think when they blame another person they'll feel okay another side effect is critical of feedback and in turn defend themselves when criticized some are very critical of any point or anything that is being said to them they, they are critical of the feedback so even if you recommend them, they'll feel they don't deserve. When you reprimand, they'll start to defend themselves. And some point out others whom they feel are better than them when they are being given a certain task. So it's like a job or a task has been given to some group of students. The lecturer didn't mention names, but yes, still some people will feel that. Oh, Cynthia is far better to do this task. Cynthia is, in some situations, is good. 
and some people use that to cover up. It's like in a presentation where majority of the students are standing there to present for, and they are representing a particular group. You see some people hiding behind others and you see that they are afraid or shy to come in front of people because they feel me standing before this congregation, these people, this class. What if I make a mistake? What if things go don't go on well? I think this person is far better to do the presentation. That's how we sometimes feel. And how can we overcome or break out from our nutshell? It starts from somewhere. So let's start by breathing in and out. So breathe in, out. It starts with you. Think positive. You have to think positive. Declare with me, I am the perfect creation of God. That's lovely. Avoid people who constantly point out your weakness and your limitations without complimenting you of your strength. There are some people like that. So you have to avoid the people who just like you are bad, you didn't do it well, you are not even good. No. So you have to get closer to people who give you strength, who point out your strength. And one of my mentors told me that before you point out someone's weakness, you have to tell the person his or her strength. That can at least give the person some joy, it will even reduce the burden or the weight that that weakness will bring or it carries. So you can also do that. So make sure you avoid people who always keep pointing out your weakness and telling you you are this, you are that, and it's really not. Learn from people instead of being jealous or envious of them. Some people see people to be very good than them. So you have to take advantage, yes. You can't have all the knowledge, you can't have everything. So you have to learn from others. So when you see someone who is far better off than you, you will try and do what? Learn from that person. We all can't be perfect, but we are all trying to do our best to be who God has made us to be. So instead of being jealous or envious, which we read or take it to another level by making you to do evil things why don't you learn and pick something from the person and another point is don't strive don't strive to be better than others compete with your best self i really like this because i i feel that it's really good it's not looking at somebody yes we will use people as examples to be able to motivate us to move and push forward. But when you are competing with your own self, which level are you in? Where do you want to be? It will help you to leave your comfort zone. That's your shell. Your comfort zone. When you feel so relaxed and you think it's okay, day, I'm fine. Just leave me. Let me be my shell. But don't compete with others. Compete with yourself. Best yourself. Best yourself. I want you to remember this. That you have many qualities that are better than those individuals. And comparing your qualities to their specific qualities is like comparing apples to oranges. Can you imagine that? It doesn't work. A little piece of advice for you is that don't compare yourself with another don't be jealous of another person because you might not know the one who wants to be like you so you must like and love yourself and improve upon your weakness to be a better version of yourself let me know if you've been in a similar situation where you felt like others are far better off than you or maybe in a situation where you felt down and lonely but just remember that God said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God's works are wonderful. 
Begin to explore yourself today. Begin to get out, break free from your next show. It's cool day. You feel welcome day. But it's time to explore. It's time to shine. It's time for you to see the light. Thank you guys for watching if you really enjoyed let me see by giving me a thumbs up and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload my videos you'll be updated on it so you can share like comment and then subscribe to adukwe glow fat get out from your nutshell break out from your nutshell